Hey guys, we're back for another breakdown here. And as the Patriots come in at number one, as you can see, Tom Brady has that 99 overall, which is really gonna. I mean, it's good, but you're gonna have to replace him eventually. So that's something you do need to know if you're going to play with the Patriots, that you will eventually have to replace Tom Brady. But when he is there, he will be one of the best. He can still make every throw you want him to. So just see how I Tom Brady will probably only stay maybe a year or two. He might retire after the first year. So look to replacing him if somebody comes up in free agency or through the draft. So see how that works out. But yeah, he can still make every throw you need him to make. He still that got that 99 overall. He still got good throw power, good accuracy, so he's really who you'd want for the Patriots. And now we're talking about the running backs, and you know it wouldn't be the Patriots if it didn't have a whole plethora of running backs to choose from, and they got some nice names, like James White, who would have been the Super Bowl MVP if Tom Brady wouldn't have did what he did. They got Sony Michael. They got freaking Rex Burkhead, one of Tom Brady's favorite running backs. And I really feel like Sony Michael is going to burst onto the scenes for the Patriots. They got some good people. I really like what they did in the running backs. I think they improved even though they lost Deion Lewis. I think with so the addition of Sony Michael and keeping James White, Rex Burkhead also, they got better at their running back position. So I'm going to give that a positive for them. All right, now moving on to the wide receivers here. I'm a little worried. I mean, their top wide receiver is Edelman. He's probably going to be suspended for four games, so I don't know how that's going to work in Madden. They still have Hogan, though. But they don't have any speed. I mean, like, they have Philip Dorsett, but he's not, like, going to be your route running guy. They don't have a good speed guy, so if I was playing with the Patriots, I would definitely look to draft a speed guy to help Maybe Tom Brady out if he stays there for a second year. Definitely look to improve at wide receiver. I mean, you have some reliable guys, but you you don't have any game changers at wide receiver, to be honest. You're not just going to blow your freaking hair off. But they have a lot of possession wide receivers, I think it's going to be for Madden. So that's what I think about the moving on to tight end. They obviously have the best tight end in the NFL with Rob Gronkowski. They also have... Some other decent tight ends for run blocking, but Gronk is going to be that X factor on every down. The defense is going to have to account for him or you're going to make him pay. He'll make any catch you need him to make. He can go up and get 50-50 jump balls in the end zone. You can line him out wide. I feel like Gronk will definitely be there your whole rebuild, or at least a lot of it if you can keep him. But definitely, you won't have to be worrying about the tight end position for a good while if you choose to play with the Patriots. So keep that in mind also if you're choosing to play with the Patriots. Also, Gronk has decent speed for a tight end, so he's going to be able to outrun some people. He actually has some good trucking stats, which is hilarious. Now moving on to the offensive line, their left tackle and right tackle. They drafted Isaiah Wynn, and as you can see, he has decent ratings. It's just not real high because his awareness isn't very high. But his actual pass block ratings and impact block ratings are good enough that you should be able to upgrade him into a franchise left tackle to protect whoever ends up being back there for you, for your quarterback. And then your right tackle is... I think that might be the only position you're going to need to upgrade is your right tackle. But your left tackle should be good after they lost their left tackle in free agency. Moving to the interior offensive lineman. I actually like their interior offensive lineman. I like Shaq Mason. I like a lot of their offensive linemen. They're definitely serviceable. They're, I'd say their interior offensive lineman is above average. So you should be able to run the ball nicely behind this interior offensive line because I feel like that's going to be so important in Madden 19 is having a good offensive line because there's not going to be a lot of good offensive lines. So starting off with a good interior and a decent outside is going to be a really big help in the running game and especially 
for that first year with Tom Brady, giving him time to be able to pass back there and doing what he does best. So I really am liking their offensive linemen here. Oh, as you can see, he just gets drilled, the wide receiver of the middle. Moving on to ends. They got Adrian Claiborne. I really like that move. He's a good pass rusher. He's going to really help him get to the quarterback. They already have Trey Flowers, who I would consider an elite end. He's really come out the last few years, and you can see that in his rating with that high 86 overall. Adrian Claiborne has some good finesse move. So that's going to be good for the ends. Your end should be able to get to the quarterback really nicely. And Trey Flowers should be able to stop the run too on the edges. You, do you have some decent speed on the edges? So you might even be able to do quarterback contains easily. But moving on to defensive tackles, they got one of the best in Danny Shelton. And they have a high overall Malcolm Brown, but Danny Shelton's really going to be that game changer for you. I mean, he's he can stop the run. He has incredible strength. He's still young, so he can upgrade. That's just scary, bro. And you can upgrade his pass rush moves. That's going to be really good. He's going to be a big part of the off. I mean, the defense. Excuse me. He's really going to help that team out, and I would try to keep him for as long as you can. Moving on to outside linebacker here, we have Dante Hightower, who's one of the best outside linebackers in the game. For zone coverage wise, right outside linebacker, not as good. So Dante Hightower is in his 30s if I'm not mistaken. So you might have to replace him in the rebuild. But he's going to be good starting off, especially in zone coverage. But I would look to replace the right outside linebacker immediately. I would definitely say their linebacking core is going to be their biggest weakness along with wide receivers. Just for age for wide receivers, but for middle linebacker and right outside linebacker, they're really going to need some help to start off. And I'll show you right here why bringing up the middle linebacker stats right now. As you can see, their highest middle linebacker is not good. I mean, you're really going to have to upgrade that, especially since the Patriots run that hybrid defense. They run both 3-4 and 4-3. So your middle linebacker is going to have to have some speed and some power. As you can see, Dante Hightower making a just a ferocious hit there. But yeah, worry you're gonna have to worry about that middle linebacker position. Maybe I might move Dante Hightower to inside linebacker to middle. That could actually be a good plan, unless you're gonna stick with that four three. You probably want him outside. But 3-4, he can probably rush a passer. Moving on to cornerback. They got Stefan Gilmore and they got Jason M Jason McCordy. But I, I mean, I like Stefan Gilmore, but I feel like you're going to need a better number two than Jason McCordy. Like, don't get me wrong. Jason McCordy's good, but he doesn't have, like, extreme speed. And especially, he is getting up there in age. So you're going to want... To replace him, even if he is good to start off, he is getting up there in age, so you're going to want to replace him. I would look for to get a speed cornerback to go along with Stefan Gilmore to really make that defensive back group a lot more better and more scary to offenses to go up against. But, I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely average or above to start out, but I would still look to get a speed cornerback to go along with Stefan Gilmore if you plan on keeping Stefan Gilmore there your whole rebuild moving on to safeties here as you can see they got Jason McCourty's brother Devin McCourty and they have Patrick Chung I like Devin McCourty for a free safety I'm not sure his age range he might be in his 30s which you could be looking to replace him depending on how Regression is going to work in Madden 19. But for right now, I mean, their strong safety, Patrick Chung, should... I mean, he doesn't have real good speed, Patrick Chung. Really, their safeties aren't built on speed. Like, the highest speed for their safeties are... What was it? Like, freaking... I think just 91 or something. And don't get me wrong, that's fast, but you don't have, like, just really fast safeties they're still going to be good for you but look to maybe be replacing your safeties as the rebuild goes on and that's going to do it for this rebuild so all together the patriots are going to come in as that number one team in the afc east and no surprise they've proved it and now their ratings are showing it 
If you guys enjoy videos like this, please let me know by hitting that sub button for your boy. You know, it really helped me out. And I'll appreciate it and know you're enjoying the series and you'll get notified every time I post a video. So my plan is to post one of these every day along with my normal videos. So if you haven't checked out any of my other videos, make sure you check that out. We're doing a Last of Us playthrough right now. It's really fun. Also doing some Skyrim playthroughs, which is also fun. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. And if you are, you know, make sure you hit that sub button. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.